live from the 24 Hours of Le Mans. $100,000 prize pool, and it'll end right here on the very track we're broadcasting from. I'm Shannon McIntosh, and I'm here at Le Mans. As you can tell, it is my first time ever. Could not be more excited. Our winners will be celebrating on the official podium following the main event. I want to go check out what we have in store for the drivers when they arrive. We're here trackside, and it's a little quiet now because we're in between practices, but it's hot and expected to be even hotter. There's a few fans here, and there's going to be more rolling in. It's going to be jam-packed, and they're not going to care how hot it is for this historical race. In fact, Let's go see what's going to happen for our historical race in the pavilion. So as you can see, this place is huge. They've been setting this up for weeks now. And even from New York, this place has blown my mind. It's so much bigger. In fact, somebody I recognize that we spoke with in New York. Race Boy, what are you doing here? Well, unfortunately, I won't be racing anymore, but I popped the fence over to Gfinity, so I'll be helping organize the series. We are off, first of all, to the Le Mans Bugatti circuit. I mean, this one is built inside the Circuit de la Salle. So the 24-hour circuit is much larger, covers a much larger distance. This one's the smaller, compact, racy circuit in the center. It kind of feels poetic in a way, like race poetry. And you can see there, look at that. Zoom trying to make the inside again. Roadrunner closing him off. You know, the interesting thing here is you take a look at Box and Roadrunner and Zoom just all over them. And there's Lage now. He's way out in front. And what can you say? It's, a, it's another Sunday drive for Lage. He's going to take the checkered flag in our first race. How important is it, Lage, to come out here and win this very first race here in your home turf? Um, it's really important because it means I'm starting on pole for the second race. And uh, if I can manage to have the win on the second race, then starting on pole on the other one as well. What's your mindset going into these next several races? We're going to be here quite early in the morning. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really tough because we, got, we have, got, again, a lot of races to do. We all go green here on the Bugatti circuit of Le Mans. He's going to go deep and you can see Chris Ed lining up for a cutback, doesn't make it move. Hysterical covers the line and that's going to invite Bam Asics right down the inside. So close, you can see these guys bumping and grinding like you said. Yeah, a little R. Kelly style, ain't nothing wrong with <laughs> a little bump and grind if you know what I mean. Here in race 1B. What do you see from Lightning? Is, is it a, a similarity or is it I see different carbon, characteristics? I see a carbon copy. Oh, really? These guys right. know how to race these tracks. You know, and, and most of the time it's one racing line, you know, what the fastest racing line. And when you're not getting pressured by people out on the track who are racing with you, you can able to put those hot laps in. Now that's what he's able to do. He's able to hot lap around this track. Silverstone is a very, very tricky circuit and it's got a, a definite knack to it. It's all about the curbs here. Now in race three, still got a long way to go. It's, it's all about endurance. Tires smoking, Roadrunners moving up in the fifth. Well, I think you know as we oh. it, When there is Zoom getting off on the side, Roadrunner had been the one that had been so tough in the first couple races yeah. in this group, but now in virus is holding on to second, box in third. Roadrunner isn't that far behind. He's falling back to fifth. Here comes Lage to the finish line, and he's going to grab his third checkered flag. I think being at home, on home turf, like you say, it's like playing a home game of football. He's definitely got the fan support, standing ovation for them. I think Rossi, he's on his home track in a car that he loves. I know he can do this. And I think Lightning's actually going to have, for the first time tonight, an actual competitor. Well, they've been on a road to Le Mans, but they're also on a collision course between yes. Lightning and Lage. Lightning got the best of them in New York. Lage was the one that was always keeping the little man in second place. But now that he's broken through, these guys here in the mall on a collision course to the grand finals. Yeah, Lage has only got one thing in mind, and that's victory. <laughs> that's just like tunnel vision, just sees a trophy. That's all he wants. One of the longest tracks in Forza Motorsport 6, 4.3 miles, huge elevation changes. Zermatt's it's on the look. side. Roadrunner driving forward. Oh, he, he let him go. He put the brakes on. What a man. What a gentleman. Roadrunner takes fourth. That, that, deserves a, that deserves an applause, man. That was a that was a race. And this is it right here. But Lightning, final stretch looking pretty. And that is going to give him that first position, that pole position. Wonderful stuff from him. Wow. Lightning, never looking back. No, I, I think there's a pattern for me here, man. Four wins out of four for Lightning. 
I think it's going to be a dog fight. Actually, like, I'm going to have to concede to my own thoughts. And I just like, it's going to be a du duel. Like, it's just going to be lightning versus Lee. The unstoppable force versus the, the immovable object. object. <laughs> I can't wait. So when we spoke in New York, you said you really hadn't been practicing a lot. Has that changed? For this competition, yeah, because I really need, I, for my part, I really need to, to be back at the top. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I need that. Do you feel that you have an advantage? Do you like the live event component? I mean, I did some line events uh, before. Uh, like, for example, I won the French Championship. I got some experience with that. So after winning seasons one and two and then not winning in New York, how did that feel? Of course, it's not a great feeling. Uh, I mean, but I had a great time in New York, so it wasn't that bad. But uh, yeah, sometimes you just have to, yeah, not to win, to reboost you a bit. And yeah, that's what I needed this time. Mm -hmm. What would it be like to win in your home country? Uh, of course, it's nice. <laughs> How, how does it sound like uh, a French win in France? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the main motivation I think is being in the podium for the your home people. We're right outside of Austin, Texas with the Circuit of the Americas. A very new circuit. This first turn, this is going to be the good one. Look for Roadrunner here. He might get a little cheeky, find himself an opportunity. Goes in the outside here. Lage is going to hold this one out. Virus and oh, Roadrunner goes for second. And this is exactly what I wanted to see here. This is a shootout here between Virus and, and Roadrunner. They're just looking for anything, any small opportunity. Just trying to find something that would work out in their favor. But there you go, folks. Lage. He's going to get himself that first place position. Roadrunner in second now. Box in third. Lots of storylines coming out of this one. Roadrunner putting on quite the show. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm giving him a lot of love here. I told him in the middle of the break he's going to buy me a steak dinner because of how much love I'm giving him. And then he's going to take me out to a wonderful date, maybe a movie afterwards. Holding him to it and holding you to your word there, buddy. He didn't promise it to me, but we're just going to assume he did anyway here. So, Lage with 125 points. You got to talk about that one. I mean, it kind of would be absurd not to. It, it could happen. Him and Lightning could put off, could pull off the perfect race, the perfect yeah. just run. Is Rossi going to do the crisscross and dive down the inside? He is. He's going to trail break again. No, he can't do it. That was super late. Use the handbrake to turn the car. This is uh, coming down to the wire here, folks. If you're just joining us, this is the fifth race of our B group Oh, that's here. a slide. And Who's that slide? That's Lightning. Oh, Lightning, no. Oh, he got knocked off into the side, and that is not what Lightning would have wanted. Oh, my goodness, what a heartbreaker there for the New York Invitational Champion, as now he has to regain ground, and he's back down into the 10th position here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Who's that? What, what, what is going on over there? That is the rumble strip there, being an absolute killer. Hysteric? No, I was an Mr. Hysteric. Jack. Was Mr. Jack. Turn one was brutal for Lightning. He just couldn't quite seem to get what he wanted out of that turn. Hey, my name is Taylor, also known as Lightning, and I'm here to show you my hometown of Runner Rapids, North Carolina. I've lived here pretty much all my life. Uh, I was born and raised here. I live with my buddy, Beerman. He, uh, he was uh, kind enough to let me stay with him. All right, so this is my little house in Runic Rapids, and let me show you inside. Oh, well, hello, you're actually home for once. Yeah, I know, I'm playing a little bit of Horizon today. All right, so this is where all the magic happens. Um, it's where I practice, play most of my games, everything. This is my PC, it took a long time to build. Uh, this is my customized controller. I got it personalized. All right, this is my signed copy of Forza Horizon 3 from season two of the FRC. And oh, look, the very first one, very first Forza. I feel I'm one of his biggest supporters because, I mean, I, whew, my neighbors got a noise complaint on me for that day. I was being a little bit too loud. Why would you not cheer for your best friend who just beat Liege for the first time, has been taken second every other time? I mean, he took out the reigning champ. Who wouldn't be loud? We are off to my mom's house that's about 25 to 30 minutes away. She lives in a little town called Littleton. It's basically peaceful in the middle of the country. But he told me about the first competition. I was like, hmm, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, do whatever. And I never watched the very first one. But then when he got into the second one after he'd done one and found out exactly how it all worked, 
then we were all tuned in. I wasn't going to miss it for anything in the world. I remember when me and Taylor used to play the game together. And, you know, just halfway through the race, he was gone. I had, I had no chance. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, this guy's got something. He's going to make it somewhere in life. And now I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't even bother to try to play because I knew I had no chance. By the time I got out of the studio after they announced that I had won and the other guys came in second and third, uh, my phone would blew up, like Facebook posts, Twitter posts. I got actual photos just as soon as he realized he won. The reaction on, what's his name, Asics, his face, is <laughs> he realized Taylor got it. And I already had them posted before he even got an opportunity to get on there. Public service announcement. My son has done it again. Y'all, my heart is so full right now. My oldest baby, Taylor Lightning Stomsky, never ceases to amaze me. Y'all tune in next weekend on Twitch or YouTube and watch my boy take it home. Go Team Lightning. We're so proud of him. He's making more money in the last six months than most of us have made in a year. Super GT is ultimately going to slow Lightning down and he's going to be in prime position for an overtake. He tries to do it on the chicane. Oh, Looking give him that back, it. man. Give it him back. Oh, man. And Super GT is going to give up that position there. Lightning, he started from eighth position and he is right back where he belongs in that first, first place spot. 200 feet in front. Not even that. 100 feet to Mr. Jack. You can see he was shaking his head there, man. He wasn't happy with that. I'm glad they didn't catch his real reaction. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Look at that sure. slide. Right into it and oh, my. nothing is going to stop him here. This is his race. Rossi's gonna get that second place position as well because no one's contesting him either. It's like, this is gonna be really hard. This is a test. This is where we see your medal. How good are you at this game? Oh, look at the despair on Roadrunner's face there after that big crash. Unfortunate for him. There's, you know, he's got two more rounds, like you say. He's got all that chance, but he'll be starting from the back if he doesn't catch anybody up. And so Lage will take another checkered flag, his seventh unofficially box. We'll finish second, force one in third. I'm pretty sure he's put the practice in on this track here. Attacks Johnson in third place at the moment. You know, he can he can really challenge Rossi, and I think that would be a massive reprieve for Lightning. Oh, there's nowhere to go. It's so tight around there. I'm not, so enough, not enough room to make a move, so Lightning will take another checkered flag here in race seven. Nürburgring, especially at night, is a very, very technical course. Well, the headlights are on and we are green to go. Probably sitting over there thinking, okay, this is, <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I'm not ready for this. We're not seeing a lot of challenges. I have to admit, these guys are playing, you know, a very, you know, a big safety net. They just want to, if they get a position, fine, but they're not really challenging because at nighttime, it, it can cost you more than it's worth. Eight out of eight for Lege. Does it in the daytime, does it in the night. As this championship develops, it's just incredible to see this kind of game of anything you can do, I can do better. And Lightning will race past the finish line. He's gonna take his seventh checkered flag of the day, seven of eight from the man from North Carolina. Can you tell us a little bit about this track, the track that's right outside the door alley? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all around us, it's the track that we can hear cars circulating around Circuit de la South. Here we go, it's gonna be five laps. What the heck happened with Lage? Yeah, Scott, it looked to be a stall on the line. Just stalled out and then the reaction. Ali, you're down there in the pits, what's going on, man? Yeah, absolutely, Lage here carrying damage now. It's absolutely destroyed the front end oh, of that boy. car. There oh, you boy. go, he gets a little bit greedy with the throttle, yeah, just to help it out. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, replay from the false start. Uh, take a look up here, let's see what you think. What are you thinking as you watch this? <laughs> um, yeah, so what can I say? I just stay on the grid and that's all. <laughs> tired? Yeah. <laughs> Very tired. So that's the, the name of the game tonight, is basically pacing yourself. And you, got, you did that for most of today. We've got a few hours before we have to get up and do it all again, but that's when it really counts. So what's the plan? Uh, sleep for maybe three hours, I think, and then I, I don't have the choice. I will be there at nine, at nine and that's all. <laughs> so we're in the final lap. Negotiate these Porsche curves after coming off Arnage. And that is your leader. That man right there, Asics, is absolutely tearing up the circuit. 
He'll be one of four people who have won a race tonight. Two cars, <laughs> with GTZ Chris, and now we have Bam A6. So, you know, how to, what a way to round off the night, really. And you saw how just that big win by Chris, how much that put him in the... Sigh of relief, round of applause. 18 races in the books. Here's the final leaderboard for Group A. Lage is on top, 200 points, even though he had a bagel at the end. Box will finish second. Roadrunner is third. Here is your final leaderboard, 4B. Your final standings, Lightning on top with 180 points. Chris is second. Rossi does make it in as third. A part of being a race car driver also means the PR and then coming here and having an interview when you'd like to go get some sleep. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that you're kind of behind because you've been doing all of this media this week? Yeah, I haven't had much practice all week. I mean, I went in some tracks completely blind, not even being able to practice some of them. You're basically going to have three hours of sleep. Probably not going to sleep. Probably just going to get jacked up on energy drinks. Now it's down to the final 12. It's the morning after the night before, right? Yep. All these guys looking around, who have they ended up in the game with? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be awesome. It. Here we go. It is time to kick off our first race in the grand finals. Let's go ahead and jump right into this here. That's a smooth start there Good from start Lage. For Good start for Lage. He's just gonna wanna hold that line in the middle there, just make sure that he doesn't leave any gaps. That lightning does oh. not want to stay in third position. He's just thrown an absolute lunge down Box. there at the end of the Kemmel straight. So he's going to want to move up. Second position right now, only Lage ahead of him. Ryan, you know, I want to get your thoughts here. Roadrunner has been doing pretty well in this race thus far. What do you think? Yeah, Roadrunner has been very strong, and he's taken the fight back to lightning. We're at the cream of the crop at this point in the competition now. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Lage is a brilliant driver, especially when he has clean air in front of him. There's no one else who can just hammer those lap times in. But if anyone can match him, it's Car Lightning and Roadrunner here. He's come out to this competition and just stormed it. Not surprised with what we're seeing thus far with Lage and Lightning in that first and second position. Not surprising at all. I mean, this, though, is surprising to see Roadrunner putting so much pressure on Lightning here at this early stage. He's going to hit the turn here like this. He's just trying to play it out as smart as he can, coming into the inside and then, you know, weaving his way out. We're going to go into that fifth lap here, folks. This is the kind of stuff that you want to see if you're a fan of Forza. And look at this here. He's gaining on him. Lightning, he's going to look to creep around the side here and find him on the outside. Can Lightning defend himself? And yes, he's able to do so. But man, Roadrunner is looking for it. You can tell. Here goes Roadrunner, though. He's going to creep on the outside. But Lightning, he will have control of the inward. And Lightning creeps through there. And he's going to be able to secure himself in that second position. But again, Roadrunner, he's challenging him. He continues to challenge him. I love it. He's got one opportunity left, and that's this last chicane. What can he do? He's looking for the opportunity. I just don't think Lightning's going to give it to him at this point. He goes on the outside, though. Can he find it? And he finds it. He finds it. And Roadrunner is going to get that second position. I can't believe it. Right at the end. And Lightning. Lightning gave it up. He was holding it so wonderfully, but he couldn't maintain it. So Lage will secure himself in first. Roadrunner, Lightning, second and third. That race was phenomenal. Yeah, Alex, uh, Roadrunner here with me. A heck of a move on that last chicane. Then you moved around the final corner. Why did you decide to make the move then? Last corner. Got to try. Here we go. We are green. It is time to start race number two. Nurburgring. And here you go, you, I mean, you can see the tires pick up and all that, you know, just all that water just spread around them. It's insane. Getting a little collision, though, off the start, and this is exactly what you would expect to see here as uh, things are getting a little hot and heavy to kick things off, but Roadrunner's gonna be able to take that first place. Lightning's gonna be in fourth now, and this is where things get very interesting because with Roadrunner in the pole position, this is Lage right in front of him, trying to challenge it. Lightning, though, coming in the corner. Lage is gonna be in third place, but he's looking to establish himself going into the right here. Roadrunner, though, he is in first place alley. I can't believe it. Indeed it is, man. This is where things get very interesting. Lage just got passed, though. Lage goes into fourth, and now we have Lightning and GDC Chris are rounding out the top three. I cannot believe it. Amarth is going to go back, and I think there was a crazy accident, though. Oh, my word. What is going on here? Lightning it's missing lightning. his braking, just missing it all together. Well too late, out on the gravel. So he had that advantage over Lage just for a second, and just like in qualifying, couldn't capitalize on the advantage. It's going to be Roadrunner sitting there in, in, in the lead of this race and thinking, 
Well, this is this is going well. GDC Chris in second place. Roadrunner, though, he's built up an incredible lead. I can't believe it. That 300-foot cushion that Roadrunner has will just give him so much confidence now. He'll be able to just settle into his rhythm, take his race pace. He can lose 50 feet, gain 50 feet here and there, and just relax. Lightning, though, looking to get right inside. Kaiser Wolf, he challenges him, sends him right back to fifth, and Lightning in the discussion yet again, but Kaiser Wolf's going to be able to establish himself one more time. It definitely uh -oh. is. That's uh -oh. it. It's a slide, though. Lightning, though, right on it. Saw him go wide. It was like, oh, all I got to do is just break early, take this turn nicely, and I'm in second place. That is basically going to do it. Roadrunner will secure himself the victory, getting the critical 25 points. What a race there. We thought that we were going to see the battle of Lightning and Lage, but Roadrunner ain't having none of that. He's getting in that conversation. He wants people to recognize that he is here to win, to take home the lion's share of a $100,000 prize pool. That's a lot of cash, man to win here in Le Mans. We're in an offline tournament situation here. I don't think Roadrunner's done one of those before. I think this is his first one. He's just showing up here, just like Cucumber Man, you know? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're the worst. Him. <laughs> you're the worst. Lightning dropping down to seventh position with a five-second penalty. That gives Rossi, Lege, Box, and Kaiserwolf the up. That, Huge. That is astonishing. We brought out Evan Thorogood, who's on the Gfinity ad adjudication team. Uh, surprising that Lightning got a penalty there. They were both fighting, but what happened? So what happened was, unfortunately, Lightning pushed Lage a little bit off, which led to Lage dropping back really far. We've seen some incidents where there might be only a tiny bit of tap where you might push somebody off a little bit, but then that player gets really severely affected by it. Unfortunately, the pack was so tight that Lightning ended up dropping a lot of positions because of those five seconds. And we are off. Yeah, all of them just slapping that 455 horsepower onto the track there, straight through those massive rear tires these GT3 cars have. AMS Roadrunner is going to keep his lead through turn one. Chris and Lage looking Ooh. relatively well behaved behind him, but that's Lage already what? on the outside. <laughs> what? He's challenging what him move. right away, goes into the second position, and Lage is right back in it, folks. I can't believe it. Now Roadrunner's going to have a tall order in front of him. Look at this, Lage. He's basically on him. 15 feet separates one and two. And Lage is just looking for anything. He's drafting him beautifully. Looking to go into the outside here. Perhaps Roadrunner has to be very mindful of this attack that's going to be coming from Lage. He holds this down there, and they're just whizzing right by these turns. And look at the way Lage is. He's, he's creeping around, right? He's creeping outside. He's At this point now, it's not necessarily about getting the draft. It's just about forcing Roadrunner into a mistake. You, you can see he's like, he's looking for it. Look at the way that he's maneuvering on the outside. He wants him. He wants him to take that, uh, take that risk and move in a very, you know, uncharismatic way. But here we go, Lage, he's gonna go into it and he manages to make it happen. I cannot believe it. The French Superman has found himself in first place for Roadrunner. Let's not forget about him quite yet though. He's right there, but never mind. Lage has forgotten about him as he has now secured himself the first position. And that's gonna do it there. Lage, I cannot believe it. He's gonna get that first place Pole position here, ladies and gentlemen. Roadrunner right behind him there. Lightning in third. Uh, there are no there are no lines here, so a lot of guys would would, would drive with the uh, brake line or the racing line to kind of just give you like an idea of like what you yeah. what you have. None of that there. It's all off of instinct. That's what makes Roadrunner so strong in a way. I, mean, I think we've mentioned this in previous commentaries, but he's been a long time running with no line. He really? Just, he just likes it. He just, and to me, that's like liking pain. <laughs> <laughs> but he likes it. He's been doing it for, for many forts of games now. Absolutely natural at it. Knows all of the little divots of these courses. Oh my god. So Roadrunner and Lage. 61-62. GDZ Chris is in third place with 40 points. Lightning with 36. Anything is possible here. Roadrunner and Lage are the two people to watch here as we head into this final, this final uh, yeah, race. It is all down to this, the final race of the Forza Racing Championship Season 3 Grand Finals. And what better place to close it out than Le Mans, Le Sarth, where we are right now. This is it in the 
Porsche 919, which is in the race right now. It's so meta. And let's go <laughs> into the final here, folks. It's time. And Roadrunner goes right up immediately into first. Brilliant start there from Roadrunner, and that's exactly what he wanted. He's now controlling that line. Oh, that's a bump. Snap. What is Four going on here? Some shenanigans. Struggling to keep his car ahead of Lightning, so he's just put a couple of bumps on him. That's given 150 feet there to Roadrunner. But if anyone can get his head down and push on in this race, it's going to be Carlage. Yeah, I think Lightning recognized he had to back away there, man, because of those bumps came in and uh, certainly did not want to affect Lage there. Came in a bit too aggressive on the right side. That is a fantastic looking car, isn't it? 900 brake horsepower generated by a V4 turbocharged two liter engine. All right, to the corner here, some, some light touching. Oh no, what is going on? Roadrunner spins out. I can't believe it, he recovers himself though. That was like a action movie moment there. So pretty good from Roadrunner, but oh my goodness, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's Road, down to ninth. Roadrunner, this is the time What's now for him to field? absolutely control that pace. Just get back in his Lightning's rhythm. in the lead. And pull out whatever he possibly can. Leish is in the back. Lightning's in the lead. Where's Leish? He's he's in 11th. Leish is in 11th. You said it. You said something insane has to happen. Insanity has ensued here. It will all come down to the adjudication. I'm sure that there was something afoot there because so many things occurred in that one instance. Roadrunner spun out, Lage went all the way back. There were bumps in the front. Really interested to see what that result would be. And here we go, final stretch now. One, two, three, four, all in order for the Forza Racing Championship. And Lightning will end in first, Virus second, Box third. Roadrunner will get fourth. Lage could not make it up. He tried, he tried, but he could not succeed. He ends in six. That was something else, what a way. Uh, to end that off. I, I agree with you. I think the Marshals will be uh, having a very close look at that race. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final standings. And oh my goodness, two points separated Lightning and Lage from victory. Roadrunner gets 15, nets himself 76. Box and Kriz with 40 each. Wow. Your champion here in the Mon is no other than Road Runner! How did it feel when you got to walk out on that podium? I'm not really that type of person who likes to be in the spotlight, so uh, I was definitely out of my comfort zone. But um, when I'm, once you're up there with people you've spoken on the Xbox for years, being able to put a face and name, and then them supporting you. So what's next for AMS Road Runner? What's in the future for you now? I could possibly pull a Rosberg, I've won the championship, just retire, never do one again, fall off the face of the earth. If something like this happens again, um, with a similar concept, it's something I'll definitely look into in the future. Hopefully win a few more, uh, but who knows what the future holds.